watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany DeFran with your midday news break. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany DeFran. Your midday news break starts right now. And we're starting things off with a bit of a sad note because the sudden death of an inmate in Natchitoches Parish Detention Center is under investigation. He was the father of Tampa Bay linebacker Devin White. The sheriff's office says 45-year-old Carlos Thomas was brought to the detention center in October. He complained of severe back pain on November 10th. He became unresponsive while being transported by ambulance to the Natchitoches Regional Medical Center. Medical staff could not revive him, unfortunately, and an autopsy has been ordered. Now, since that autopsy has been ordered, we'll make sure to provide you with the latest information, so stick with us on KTALnews.com. Now, amidst the flu season, health matters, but doctors across Louisiana continue to see a spike of RSV cases in children. Now that it's getting colder and we're spending more time indoors, Doctors say young patients are keeping the hospitals busier than usual. Doctors say there could be a shortage of ICU beds as more patients are hospitalized. The symptoms are similar of those of the common cold, but it could lead to difficulty for breathing if they are, you know, susceptible to those symptoms. You know, children are not able to keep anything down. That means they're not drinking enough, they're not active enough, their fever can't be controlled with just Tylenol or Motrin, commonly used fever medications, then they should reach out to their pediatrician. And there are some things that you can do to stay safe, like washing your hands and coughing into your elbows to slow the spread of germs. And you're really going to want to take this advice, adhere to it as doctors have provided it to us. Um, because, you know, with the holiday season, you want to be around your family and friends, around a lot of people, and you just want to stay healthy to um, make sure that you're healthy throughout the holiday season. Now here is something we've been following closely and it's an update here in regards to the Rev Entertainment. Now they've shared with us what's going on with Shreveport Baseball Stadium proposal now that Adrian Perkins is no longer involved. Sean Decker, the Rev's president, says the company has met with both Tom Arsenault and Gregory Tarver regarding the stadium, which would potentially be built at the site of what is now Fairgrounds Field. Decker says regardless of who is elected, support from the new city mayor is vital. We were there uh, the night of the election and were able to uh, the next day meet with both candidates in the runoff. I was stunned that they were both willing to meet with us the day after such a big day for both of them personally. Uh, yeah, listen, no commitments on anybody, and we weren't asking for any commitments. Uh, our desire was to show them the project, express our excitement to be in Shreveport, um, and our desire to build a world-class asset for the community there. I can tell you this, I have no interest in doing a project in a community where the mayor doesn't want us, that's, that's for sure. He says they've met with more than 100 community partners, including the State Fair of Louisiana, the Shreveport Mudbugs, and the State Exhibit Museum. He says updates on the project will likely not come until next year. Now let's turn to news happening around the world. President Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping met on Monday ahead of the G20 summit in Bali. This is their first in-person discussion since Biden became president. The two leaders are seen walking into a large conference room for their meeting and they were expected to discuss Taiwan, Ukraine and North Korea's nuclear ambitions. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said the meeting was, quote, intended to stabilize the relationship between the United States and China. Now, this comes after months of spiking tension. China had to cut off military communication with the U.S. amid President Biden's promises to defend the self-governing island of Taiwan, fearing China would seize control, considering it is part of its territory. This is going to lead us to our question of the day. Here's our QR code so you can get involved. Take down this QR code so you can answer today's question of the day. And here it is. Will Biden's latest meeting with the Chinese president improve relations with China? Go ahead and tell us what you think. It looks like 36 say yes and 54 say no. That's all for now, but more to come on your midday news break. Don't go anywhere.
watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany Dufran with your midday news break. Welcome back to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany Dufran. More on your midday news break right now. Starting off with your local news, as Mooring Sport experiences another earthquake over the weekend, the U.S. Geological Survey says a 3.0 earthquake struck near Mooring Sport around noon on Sunday. A 3.0 earthquake was also felt in Mooring Sport in April of last year, then in Blanchard about two weeks later. Now, the survey says there's evidence that the earthquake is a result of fracking. We'll keep an eye on this and have more on KTALnews.com. And then happening at Natchitoches, the sheriff's office arrests a man after he threw an AR-15 out of his car window while being stopped for speeding. I'm sure that was a sight to see while just, you know, casually driving on the road. The sheriff's deputies recovered the gun and ammunition, then arrested the 20-year-old Khalil Wadud. He was caught driving 98 miles per hour on I-49 on Sunday afternoon. Deputies say Wadud is a convicted felon and is prohibited from owning a gun. He's now in Natchitoches Parish Detention Center facing many charges. NBC6 is your local election headquarters and you can count on us. While voters will have one chance to watch Shreveport's mayoral candidates debate the most important issues facing the next generation. Tom Arsenault and Gregory Tarver will face off on Wednesday at the LSU Shreveport from 7 to 8 p.m. You can watch it all on our live stream of the debate on KTALnews.com. Now let's turn to your news happening around the world as President Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping met on Monday after ahead of the G20 summit in Bali. This is their first in-person discussion since Biden became president. Now the two leaders are seen walking into a large conference room for their meeting. They were expected to discuss Taiwan, Ukraine and North Korea nuclear ambitions. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said the meeting was, quote, intended to stabilize the relationship between the United States and China. Now this is going to lead us to our question of the day. Going to give you a moment to take down this QR code you see right here on your screen. All right, let's take a look here. Today's question of the day is, will Biden's latest meeting with the Chinese president improve relations with China? It looks like so far some of you guys have said yes. That's 36% have said yes and about 54% have said no. But we want to hear from you. So go ahead and tell us what you think here. Because, you know, as this meeting was intended to stabilize their relationship and it also comes after months of spiking tensions between uh, China as they cut off military communication with the U.S. amid President Biden's promise to defend the self-governing island of Taiwan, fearing China would seize control considering it is part of its territory. So a lot has happened here and that's why we want to hear from you. That's all for today. More details on these stories on KTALnews.com. Have a great day.